getting ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> <laughs> One wants to move through life with elegance and grace, blossoming and frequently, but with exquisite taste, like a rare bloom. <laughs> one wants, but one so seldom gets what one wants, does one? No, one does not. One gets fucked over. One dies at 30, robbed of decades of majesty. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit! I have emotional problems. <laughs> Why are you wearing makeup? I was in the process of uh, applying the face, trying to make myself feel better. I did swipe the goofball colors off the Clinique counter at Macy's. You stole these? Uh, I was out of cash. It was an emotional emergency. <laughs> so will be so angry. I promised him no more pills. These pills you keep alluding to. Valium. I take Valium. Lots of Valium. And now you're dancing as fast as you can. I'm not addicted. I don't believe in addiction, and, and I never drink, and I never take drugs. Well, smell you, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Except for Valium. Except for Valium. <laughs> and we pistols. It's terrible. Mormons are not supposed to be addicted to anything. I'm a Mormon. I'm a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> in my church, we don't believe in homosexuals. <laughs> in my church, we don't believe in Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> what church do you... <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> see you before and I don't think that I did then I don't think you should be here in this hallucination uh, because in my experience the, the mind which is where hallucinations come from shouldn't be able to make up anything that wasn't there to start with that didn't enter it from experience from the real world imagination can't create anything new can it? <laughs> It only recycles bits and pieces from the world and reassembles them into visions. Am I making sense right now? Given the circumstances, yes. <laughs> so when we think we've escaped the unbearable ordinariness of untruthfulness of our lives, it's really only the same ordinariness and falseness rearranged into the appearance of novelty and truth. <laughs> Nothing unknown is knowable. Don't you think it's depressing? The limitations of the imagination? Yes. It's something you've learned after your second theme party. It's all been done before. <laughs> <laughs> Finite. 
hair hurts me. <sighs> wow, this is the most depressing hallucination I've ever had. Apologies. <laughs> I do try to be amusing. Oh, <laughs> don't apologize. I can't expect someone who's really sick to entertain me. How on earth did you know? Oh, well, that happens. This is the very threshold of revelation sometimes. You can see things. How very sick you are. Um, do you see anything about me? Yes. What? You are extremely unhappy. Big deal, you can get a value addict and you figure out she's unhappy. <laughs> no. No, something else. Something surprising. Something surprising? Yes. Your husband's a homo. I don't think you went to it very well at all. I mean, Joe's a very normal man. He... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, do homos um, take lots of really long walks? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Stretch pants with lavender cloths. <laughs> I just looked at you and there was... Yes. Yeah. I have to go now. Get back something. Something just fell apart. Oh God. I feel so sorry. I'm sorry. I would say both the truth, but mostly the truth fucks you. That, that isn't true. Threshold of revelation. <laughs>